David. We just rolled into Mammoth Spring, Arkansas. Oh, just about a mile and a quarter down the Missouri Arkansas line. Yep, we are excited to go in there. We're going to start at the Visitor Center. We have been here before. It's been a long time ago. The twins were in sixth grade. And the only reason I remember it is because we brought our dogs with us. And Tara had the dog. And Roscoe, I think. Roscoe. Oh, or across the yard or something. He saw some geese. And she hung on to the uh, leash and wouldn't let go of it. And she's being drugged. And we're all, let go of the leash. Let go of the leash. Anyway, we're going in there. We're going to find out some information. And then we'll go from there. You can see the water going through the dam. We're going into the visitor center. Check this out. Mammoth Spring is one of the world's largest springs with 9 million gallons of water flowing hourly. It forms a 10 acre lake, then runs southward as the Spring River, a famous Ozark trout and float stream. Remnants of a mill and hydroelectric plant are part of Mammoth Springs history, and Mammoth Springs State Park serves as Arkansas's welcoming center. They have a uh, plentiful and a variety of brochures that you can take, and the restroom here is immaculate and one of the nicest we've ever seen. All right, we just came out of the visitor center. We're walking to the spring. I think Dave found some info. One of the world's largest springs, nine million. Ten acre, forms a 10 acre lake as the uh, famous uh, trout and fishing springs and then the uh, Missouri Arkansas power plant tried to build a plant in 1925 and this area was settled in the 1880s okay we are going to go we're walking to the spring I'm going to flip this so that you can see it uh, the lady at the visitor center told us that the hatchery is a must-see. So we are going to go ahead. Let me flip this. We are going to go ahead and tour. You can walk this whole area. But since we have the Jeep here and the dog, we're going to walk back and check out the dam. We're going to check out over here where the spring is. And then we're going to drive around over to where the fish hatchery is. And then we'll decide we're eating lunch somewhere. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. We've been here before. It just is beautiful. Check this out. We're heading over to the dam. They found some more information. Yeah, 1836 was the first mill built, what they call it, Spring Branch by William Allen. And uh, they built another one at 1850. It was more substantial or bigger one, I guess. And then during the Civil War, it got burnt down during the war between Union and Confederate troops. Then they rebuilt that in 1880. And the railroad come through the town, and it ceased to be in used in uh, 1968. Yeah, we're going to put gonna, on the register of national historical sites in 1996. We're going to go buy some Civil War history. We're going to go look at the railroad museum, and then the fish hatchery. We're going to do it all while we're here. According to today, we came out and did the wrong thing. We walked they, out the wrong way. We came out the wrong way. They have a walking path that they want you to do according to the little paper brochure there's 15 stations you can stop at yeah we went out the wrong way we wanted to see the spring first not the spring last uh what were you saying about the hydropower the first the dam was built in 1888 and then when missouri arkansas wanted to make a hydro plant in 1925 they built a new dam and they quit generating electricity in there's, 1972. yeah there's quite a few people here uh, milling around, lots of kids, lots of families. 
Come on. Okay, they let you walk across the dam. So we are gonna walk across the dam. You can pick down, picnic down there if you wanted to. It's getting warm out here. we go into the fish hatchery they have playgrounds baseball fields basketball court basketball court plenty of picnicking opportunities there is a museum i think down here something to do with the old railroad depot is a museum yeah it's a 62 and a half acre state park fulton county arkansas gonna get a video of this the dog has got overheated we're gonna leave him in the car when we go into the fish hatchery yeah, okay he, that's next 1871 the national fish hatchery system was approved okay we have found out from when we were in colorado if you have the opportunity to go into a fish hatchery to do it because uh we were very impressed and it looks like we're gonna be impressed with this this looks nice we are going to be leaving the dog in the Jeep with the Jeep running. He got overheated. Mammoth Spring National Fish Hatchery is one of the oldest national fish hatcheries in the United States. Free admission. I know a couple of boys that would love coming here. Oh, uh, if you're in the area, you got to come here. And I'm not even inside yet. Anyway, this is Mammoth Spring National Fish Hatchery, one of 70 fish hatcheries in the federal hatchery system. Yep. What uh, the federal fish hatchery system does is they classify the hatcheries by water temperature. So there's cold water, cool water like trout, cool water, uh, cold water, fish like trout, cool water, fish like walleye, warm water, bass, and catfish. That gentleman in there is so knowledgeable. Our microphone stopped working. So what we're talking about is that if you are in the Mammoth Spring area, you must stop and check out the National Fish Hatchery because it was amazing. 
David is going to talk about how special this hatchery is. It is one of a few hatcheries that can raise warm water fish and cold water fish. That's very unusual. We can't add any more to what that guy in there was saying. I got some video of him. So I think we're going to go ahead and put a wrap on this video. America's beautiful. Get out and see it. Like and subscribe if you want to. We'll see you on the road.